Old Grognard says, Let's learn how weapon specialization works in 2nd edition AD&D. In the basic three-book version of the game, weapon specialization is described on page 52 of the PHB. The rules for it change in at least one setting in some later books, but this is how it works in the most basic version of the game. In layman's terms, weapon specialization allows a single class fighter to pick one type of weapon that they are proficient in and become really good at using it. So what does page 52 say specifically about weapon specialization? The first thing it says is that it's an optional rule. Now with that being said, I've never seen anyone not allow weapon specialization, but again, it is actually an optional rule. The next thing it says is that a fighter doesn't have to be specialized at first level. Most of the time folks build characters that way, but the player can wait and spend the extra slots and do it later. After that, it points out the part about single class fighters. So if you have a character that is multi-class, like a fighter mage, no specialization for you. It doesn't say anything about dual class characters, but the strict interpretation where it says single class only would mean no. Some DMs will rule otherwise, so be sure to ask your DM how they handle that situation if you're headed that way. What about a paladin or ranger that does some evil stuff and permanently loses their class status and becomes a fighter? The description of the Paladin class on page 27 specifically says that they can't take weapon specialization if this happens. The Ranger, on the other hand, doesn't mention this, so it would be up to the DM to interpret the rules. Now that we have the who out of the way, let's look at the nuts and bolts of how specialization works. It costs a total of two weapon proficiency slots to specialize in most weapons. This is because it costs one to become proficient and the second slot to specialize. Bows cost a total of three slots, one to become proficient and two to specialize. So what does specialization actually do? For melee weapons, the character gains a plus one to hit and a plus two to damage. The text says that a fighter gains these bonuses to all attacks with these weapons. So at least in this version of the game, specialization of bonuses apply to attacks with thrown melee weapons. They also gain additional attacks, as shown on table 35 at the top of page 52. While we're here at table 35, I'd like to point out a couple of things about additional attacks. There is no column for bows. Bows have a rate of fire of two attacks per round, regardless of warrior level or specialization. If we look at the additional attacks for melee weapons, thrown weapons, and crossbows, you'll see these numbers like 3 slash 2 or 5 slash 2. What these mean is that you get this many attacks every two rounds. So if you have three attacks every two rounds, you would get one the first round, two the next, and it would go 1, 2, 1, 2 after that. 5 every 2 is basically the same, but it would go 2, then 3, then 2, and so on. However many attacks a character gets, they use them according to the rules for initiative that we covered in episode 18. I'll put the link to that at the end of this video. The book doesn't mention weapons that are only thrown, like darts, or other projectile weapons like slings. Usually the DM will let you specialize in these, using the rules for melee weapons. Bows and crossbows have different rules for specialization. Instead of the flat plus 1 to hit and plus 2 to damage, they gain a new range category called point blank. For the crossbow, this is a range of 6 to 60 feet, and for a bow, this is 6 to 30 feet. The archer, or arbalist as appropriate, gains a plus 2 to hit against targets in this range. Bow and crossbow specialists also gain a second ability that allows them to attack at the beginning of the round before initiative rolls are made. This ability requires that they have their target in sight and that the archer has an arrow knocked and drawn, or in the case of the arbalist, a bolt cocked and loaded. That pretty much covers the basic rules for weapon specialization in AD&D 2nd Edition. Thanks for watching. 19th century orcish foot soldier and I would like to wish you a wonderful rest of your day.